In this video, we're going to look at how to issue a serialized item from CM Client. So from the Home ribbon, I'm going to go to my Actions ribbon and click Issue Item. The first step, I'm going to select the person that I'm issuing the item to. And then I'm going to locate my item. Down here, I'm, I'll go ahead and issue one of these gauges. Let's do a double click on the item. And normally I could just issue the item as is, but because this is a serial ID, I need to actually select which serialized item I am issuing. That's why it's giving me that red X. So I'm just going to click inside that box and it becomes a drop down. And from that drop down, I'll pick serial ID 12. And as you can see, the red X is gone and we are free to issue the item. So let's go ahead and do that now and the item is issued. But what if we need to return the item? We can do that from the same actions ribbon. We'll go to return item. Now in this case, that is the only item that is checked out, but uh, there may be cases where the list goes on and on and you could use these different sorting options to locate it. Or you can enter in the name of the person that you're returning the item from and it will narrow down this list to that person. You could also enter in the serial ID if you know it, and it will also narrow it down. So here's the item that we're returning, and we'll go ahead and click the arrows to move it over. Right now the system has tagged the serial ID, telling us that the calibration date is undefined. That's because this is a gauge, uh, so it's giving us gauge-related information. Now right now it is the exclamation point, not the red X, so it's not going to stop us from doing the return. However, we can change the status of our return using these buttons up here. For instance, I could send this to calibration from the return screen. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this as a simple return and we'll click the process button. And the item has been returned.